Good evening. Good evening. Okay, William, good evening. I'm just reading your messages. Don't worry. How are you, Stephanie? Super good, and you, teacher. Great. Thank you. So, how was your day? Uh, my day is uh, a little quiet. Okay, that's nice. Did you have to work today? Yes, in the platform. Oh, you worked in the platform too. Okay, nice. What section are you in? In section number five. You're in section five already. Whoa, that's nice. Yes. Excellent. Keep on going. Okay. Good evening, Mercedes. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Great. How was your day? Como dice? ¿Qué tal su día? Okay, that's great. What did you do? ¿Qué hizo ahora? Only working. Only worked, okay. And did you have any time to work in the platform too? Yes. You're in section three. You're in section three, okay. Very good. Just keep on working. How are you, William? Good evening, Hector. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Okay, excellent. How was your day? Do double busy. <laughs> oh really than yesterday <laughs> oh no thank god it's almost over then <laughs> yeah this season of the year is uh, it's, uh very hard oh what do you do uh, i am working in at logistics oh, okay so So by the end of the year, 
uh, we have the normal work and extra work by the end of the year. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of work, right? <laughs> You're very busy in these days. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And have you been working in the platform, Hector? Uh, I am at section three, starting. Section three, okay. All right, we're good then. Just keep going. This week, uh, what, yeah, by the end of this week, what what section must be covered? The, 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 the three, right? Yes, exactly. You must complete okay. um, until section three. So okay. let me just get my charger. My computer is dying. Okay. All right. Good evening, Rafael. Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, and you? I, teacher, I had a very, very work. Okay. It was a busy day. Yes. All right. And for, for, uh, why? Sorry, Rafael, no, I no, couldn't no. hear that. No le pude escuchar lo último por la conexión, creo. Can you repeat it, please? But ready for. I couldn't catch it, Rafael. No sé si estamos en un problema de conexión o qué será lo que pasa. But, but really, oh, really, so. Class teacher. Maybe. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. So it seems I'm having trouble with the connection. So sorry about that. I think I think for for Ray, for Ray, teacher. Yes, that could be the reason. That's right. So Rafael, have you been working in the platform as well? Yes, three session. You're in section three. Okay, very good. Good evening, Edwin. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am very well, and you? I'm fine, thanks. How was your day? Okay. Uh, very good. I am very good day. You had a good one. I'm glad to hear it. And tell me about the platform. Have you been working on it? I am finished unit unit one, unit unit two, unit two, and unit three. Oh, right. And today, and today started unit four. You're starting unit four today. Okay, sounds cool. Okay, so I think we are ready to start with our class. Let me just get my presentation over here. So once again, welcome everybody. We're going to start with this activity, which is um, where were you yesterday at? So this is how it goes. We are going to just complete the question by adding a specific time. For example, where, where were you yesterday at 5 p.m.? And then we're going to ask that question to a specific person. For example, 
Let me ask Sergio. Sergio, where were you yesterday at 5 p.m.? I was in my house and listening and watching TV. All right, excellent. Now, Sergio, you change the time and you ask another person. Uh, hi, Hector. Where were you yesterday at uh, 6 p.m.? 6 p.m. or 5 p.m.? 6 p.m. <laughs> Uh, I was, I was at, at work. All right, Hector, continue asking. Uh, I have to increase one hour, right? Yeah, you have to change the time. Okay. Stephanie, uh, where? What is the question? I can see the question. It's where were you yesterday at? Where were you? Where were you yesterday at 7 p.m.? At 7 p.m., I remember I remember I was cooking cook the dinner. You were cooking the dinner in your house, of course, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. Stephanie asks another person, please. And Mercedes. Where were you? Where were you yesterday at six a.m.? I was having dinner and checking social network at six a.m. I think you said, but right, Stephanie? Yes, six six a.m. Okay, so Mercedes in the morning. In the morning. What? Where were 6 you? 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, At 6 a.m. 6, 6 a.m. in the morning, in the mañana. Okay. A shower. Okay, you were taking a shower in your house. Thank you, Mercedes. Now it's your turn to ask the question. Just let me remind you about this. We are asking where. So that is a question to ask or a question word to ask about place, right? The place you were in yesterday at some point or some specific time. Now, Mercedes. Ask another person, please. Mercedes? Okay, so let me ask Edwin Castro. Edwin, okay. where were you yesterday? at eight in the morning. I was, I was working. Where? Yes. Where were you? I, I, I am work. You were at work? Uh, yes. Okay, excellent. Edwin, ask another person, please. Okay. Um, uh, uh, Stephanie Pozuelo. Oh, Stephanie already participated. Please choose another person. Okay. Um, Mauricio Garzona. 
Okay. Yes, good night. Okay, where were you yesterday at 7 p.m.? Well, yesterday at 7 p.m., I was meeting with some co-workers. You were in a meeting, okay? Yes, I were in a meeting. All right, now Mauricio, ask another person, please. Okay. Um, Gladys Gonzalez, where were you yesterday at 10 a.m.? Working. You were working, okay? You were at work. I were at work. At work. All right, Gladys, it's your turn to ask. Okay. Uh, Mercedes Rivas. Mercedes already participated. Can you choose another person, please? Hector Rico. Hector participated too. So how about um let's see who hasn't participated? Alejandra. Okay, Alejandra. Where were you yesterday at um, sorry at, at eleven? Eleven PM. I was in a meeting in my job. Okay, very good, Alejandra. Now you ask Andrea Araceli, please. Okay, Andrea Araceli, where were you yesterday at 5 p.m.? Yesterday at 5 p.m. I was waiting for for bus. You were Outside waiting. My, for... I was waiting for bots uh, outside my my work. Is okay. It correct? Yes, that's right. Okay. Now, can you ask another question to let's see, Sergio? Uh, le pregunto a Sergio. Yes, please. Uh, okay, Sergio. Where were you yesterday at 3 p.m.? Uh, I was in, in my house uh, playing video game. Okay, excellent. Sergio, now you ask, let's see who's missing. Ana Maria. Uh, hello, Ana, Ana Maria. Where were you yesterday at uh, 4 p.m.? 4 p.m. Uh, I was uh, in the office. I was working. All right. Very good, Ana Maria. Now you ask Karina Gomez. Karina Gomez, where were you yesterday at? Uh, in the... 6 a.m. At 6 a.m., okay. I was in my house. All right, you were home. Karina, now you ask Daniel Ocampo. Daniel Ocampo, where were you yesterday at 5 p.m.? At uh, 5 p.m.? Eh, a las, al, at 5 p.m. Eh, me, me dijo, no, no escuché. Yes, at 5. Eh, well, I was at 5 p.m. in my house. You were in your house. Okay. Daniel, now you ask Luciano. 
uh, Luciano, where were you yesterday at, at 7 a.m.? Repeat o'clock. Seven. Yes, seven a.m. Okay. I working in the. I working from the house. Okay, very good. Now, Luciano, you ask Rafael. Okay, Rafael, where were you yesterday? I eight eight p.m. What's ours? It's eight eight p.m. Yeah. I start the English class. Okay, you were in the English class. Nice. And um, let's see, I think Edwin is missing. Yeah, so please ask, ask, ask Edwin. Okay. Rafael? Excuse me, repeat please. Can you ask Edwin the same question? Where were you yesterday at? Okay, where were you yesterday at the, the weekend? Um, you yeah. have to say some. Yeah. 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 Only, only, yeah. only, all, only, all, teacher. Yes, because we're talking ah, okay. about yesterday. Okay, uh, where were you yesterday at 10 p.m.? I, I was studies English. Okay. Uh, the good, the good student. Thanks. Okay, thank you guys for participating. Now let's continue by making some excuses. We are going to use the past for making some excuses. Let me just check the chat. It seems somebody was Sending messages. Okay, I can't. All right. So uh, we are going to make some excuses for the different situations I have here. For example, you were late. What do you say? I mean, what's your apology? What can we say when we are late? What's the excuse? Tú estás tarde. Yes. Cuando llega tarde, ¿cuál sería la excusa que puede dar? Because there is a lot of traffic. Okay, maybe. there was a lot of traffic. What else? Very bullshit. Uh, I'm working. Can you repeat it? By uh, very bias. Uh, activity at work or work activity like you were very busy doing an activity at work is yes. that what you're saying yes okay I Perfect. was asleep I was sleeping okay all right so that's what I want you to do I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms for a couple of minutes and you have to make some different excuses for this the following situations the first one if you're late the second one you didn't come to the party then we have you didn't bring the homework you forgot your wedding anniversary and you didn't give a birthday present to your best friend so please make some excuses let me send you to the rooms tell me Richard. yes i i am sick Oh, that's pretty bad. Do you need to leave now? Eh, no sé si se va a retirar o... Or... No, o sea, es una excusa, teacher. Oh, I was... Sorry. Ah, o sea, sí, en, en el trabajo <laughs> o, o donde sea. 
Dia mau sick. I am sick. Yes. Eh, o, o, para, o para decirlo mejor, pero no, no recuerdo cómo se dice, yo me, siento, me sentía enfermo. I Por feel eso sick. Tarde. I feel, I feel. I feel sick. I felt ah, sick. Okay. <laughs> okay. I feel sick. Okay. Yeah, that's a good example. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me send you to the breakout rooms right now. <laughs> Okay, I just sent the situations to the chat. You can see them there. Okay, teacher, thank you. Salí, entré, este, haremos, repetiremos lo que está aquí o haremos una pregunta. Según las situaciones que ella nos puso, hay que, hay que responder, hay que dar una excusa. ¿vale? Como en la, en el, en la ocasión de la de que por qué no fue a la, a la fiesta. Yo puse, because my mom gave me permission. Pero esas son cosas que colocó acá, son unas excusas, ¿verdad? Sí. Porque llegué tarde al trabajo, because a lot of traffic. Um, quiero ver. Los demás no me van a preocupar. Okay. La pregunta en la primera sería ¿Cuál fue tu ley? Uh -huh. you're late. What you're late? You didn't come to the party, or you didn't bring the homework. You olvidaste la tarea. You forgot your wedding anniversary. Que olvidó el aniversario de boda. Y el último es que olvidó darle un, un regalo a su mejor amigo. 
Que llegue tarde. Y por tu poder. No, es que, es que no, no estoy casado. <risa> no quiero eso todavía. Pero por poder. En mi job, very. En mi job, very. Lucy. Estaba muy ocupado en el trabajo. Uh -huh. I I say other other gear. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> sería como sorry, sorry, my love. I in my job, I very very busy. I forgot your wedding anniversary, but tomorrow. <laughs> Ay, ay, bien contenta la va a tener Y hasta se lo dramaticé bicho, qué barbaro. Me imaginé, me metí en el papel And you didn't give a birthday present to your best friend ¿Quién me toca? Um, a mí Eh, because I forgot your birthday. <ríe> me pegarían por, porque se me, se me olvide el, el cumpleaños. Menos mal. Una excusa. Vuela. Another one can be because I was in the university. A saber en qué sección está este ejercicio, ¿verdad? En la sección 3, quizás, de la plataforma. No, no, no. O sea, en la sección 3 It's... está la opción de Edis, como de ubicaciones. O quizás en la 4. Sí. So, this exercise is only for practicing the past. Hello, teacher. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> It's okay, don't worry. <laughs> So it's for practice in the past. You see okay. was, where, and the verbs in the past. Okay. Um, Mauricio, yeah. make an excuse for your late. Well, uh, I was in a lot of traffic. Mm, that is a, a good one. Yes. <laughs> Okay, who is next? Rafa. You Excuse me. You didn't bring the didn't. homework, Rafa. Uh, repeat, please. You didn't bring the homework. Uh -huh, okay. Uh -huh. I I creo my 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 dog eight <laughs> la, la típica the dog eight the homework yo digo que es home o how Home, sería. Home. Con la cuatro. Um, you forgot your wedding anniversary. Anniversary. You forgot your wedding anniversary. de bodas, ¿eh? ¿Verdad? Sí, olvidaste. Yo creo que sí. Olvidaste tu, tu aniversario de boda. Y... Um, I forgot in the la fecha. No, pero ¿por qué podría olvidar un aniversario de boda? Eh, ahí podría ser eh, yes, I know. I have been he estado 
very occupied. <laughs> Uh, ocupado si no sé cómo se dice busy busy a ver very busy I was very very busy Estaba muy ocupado. ¿Podría ser? No sé. Sí, está bien. Eh, I forgot. Eh, the dive. Olvidé la fecha. I forgot the date. Sí. Sí, podría ser. Sí. ¿Algún otro o solo con esos dos? Solo con eso. Creo que estaría bien. Vaya. You didn't have a birthday present to your best friend. Me dice es un regalo de cumpleaños a tu mejor amigo. No, que se le olvidó. O se lo activa. No diste, si no le diste un presente, un, un regalo. Sí, ¿verdad? Eh... I have no money. Sí, podría ser. No tengo dinero. Mm -hmm. Otra. I didn't have time. Eh, I didn't have time for buy a gift. No tuve uh -huh. tiempo para comprar un regalo. I present. Present. I didn't have time. Okay, so now that you have made some excuses, um, let's just go into the past of be in the negative form. Uh, well, just before we continue, do you have any questions, any doubts about the exercise we were doing previously? Maybe not. Okay, so let's talk about the negative form of B. So remember that we have different forms and we got two different ones, right? In the present, we got was and where, and in the past, we have was not and were not. And let's just remember that for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we use was. And we also have the contracted form wasn't. And then we have the other form were not. That one is used for the subjects you, we, and they. And the contracted form is weren't. I'm, let's see here, we are missing the, the T. 
Let me just add it. Okay, so we got weren't. And then um, the structure that we follow for making sentences is this one. We need a subject, then we have was not, or were not, or wasn't, or weren't. And then we need a complement. Here I have an example. I was not at home, I was at work. I was not at home or I wasn't home. Next example, can you help me to read it, please? Let me select somebody. Andrea Araceli, help me, please. Okay. Eh, ¿Cuál es el ejemplo? El primero. I was no not. Ese. Ah, okay. Second. Okay. She wasn't angry. She was just bored. Thank you. Next example. Help me to read it, Mauricio. They were not in a party. They were at their parents' house. Thanks, Mauricio. And we got another example. Luciano, can you read it, please? Okay. You weren't at the mall. You weren't at the mall. Thank you. Mall. All right. So as you see, uh, we use was not or wasn't, were not or weren't. Now I have an exercise for you to practice. So here we have some different information. We are going to make, we're going to use it to make negative and affirmative sentences. For example, the first one, it, we got very cold and hot. So in the affirmative form, we use it was very cold. In the negative, we say it wasn't hot. Next one, let's see, Stephanie, can you give it a try? Give me a second. Try. I don't see. Oh. Can can you see the chart? We got he so happy and sad. Ah, try, Louis. <laughs> oh. Yes, so what you have to do is to make sentences using was or were and wasn't or weren't. Okay. He was sad. He was, uh, okay. So you have to make an affirmative sentence and a negative one. For example, with the first one, we got it very cold and also we got hot. So the sentences I make are, it was very cold, it wasn't hot. So ah, okay. See, I use this information. He wasn't, Go ahead. He wasn't, he wasn't so happy and he wasn't, he was so happy and he wasn't sad. Right, excellent, Stephanie. Edwin Castro. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The, do the dog slow. The dog was or where? Uh, the dog was slow. Okay. Now make uh, a negative one. Teacher, ¿qué significa slow? <laughs> slow um it's the opposite lento. to fast, lento. lento, yeah, thanks. Ah, entonces, pero, pero ahí sería, entonces, the dog was wrong, slow. No, you can just use slow. Both options would be correct. Um, okay. All right, so you say the dog was slow and the dog wasn't fast. Es que, pero, pero es que no, no le veo mucha, mucha, mucha lógica porque el perro el, estaba lento. ¿El perro era o...? No, 
the dog was wasn't fast, wasn't, wasn't slow. Was. No estaba lento. Era, era rápido, era pero rápido, no lento. No era lento. No era lento. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Thanks for participating. Next sentence, Gladys. My sister-in-law, Canada and Italy. My sister-in-law was Canada. My sister-in-law was in Italia. Okay, very good. Just remember to add in. My sister-in-law was in Canada. My sister-in-law was sent in Italy. Okay. Okay, next one, Rafael. Caroline, student and teacher. Okay, teacher. Carolina was a student. A student. Uh, Carolina was not teacher. A teacher, okay. Very good. So we say Caroline was a student and she wasn't a teacher. Next one, um, Daniel Ocampo. The weather, rainy and sunny. Uh, the weather was rainy. Um, the weather wasn't sunny. Okay, perfect. Hector, next one. We classmates, friends. We was classmate. We, we was we were. Where? Ah, where? sorry. We were. Okay. We were classmate. We were in friends. Exactly. Very good. Sergio, the last one. My siblings excited and depressed. Uh, my sibling uh, was excited. Were um, were excited and. My siblings were not depressed. Okay, very good. My siblings were excited. My siblings were not depressed. All right, pretty well. Now let's talk a bit about the questions you see in the pass of B. So let's take a look at uh, this sentence. It says, Melissa was very nervous. And then what I need to do in order to make a question is to change the elements in the sentence. So I move the verb was to the first place in the sentence, the first position. And then in the second position, I have the subject, Melissa. So I get, was Melissa very nervous? So as you see, the structure we follow is this. We got was or were then the subject, then the complement, and the question mark. And how do we answer this question? Was Melissa very nervous? What would be the answer? Any ideas? Yes. 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 Yes, she was. Yes, Melissa was very nervous. Okay. And she was was not was not very exactly or not negative she wasn't not she wasn't no she wasn't nervous okay so those are the options that we have uh, for the answers here I have some other questions. We got, was it a good trip? Yes, it was, or no, it wasn't. Can you help me to read the next example, please? Alejandra? Were you at your mom's house yesterday? Yes, I was, no, I wasn't. Thank you. Karina, help me with the other example, please. Were Lake and Anne at the theater? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. 
All right, thank you. Peter. Okay, so now we are going to make some questions. Here I have some statements. We are going to change them into the interrogative form. So please help me with the first one, Rafael. Do you, I know. Ask a question. You make where, a question. Where, okay. Where are you ready for the trip? Where are you ready for the trip? Okay, next question. Edwin Castro? Of course. Um, was Sarah there? Uh, was Sarah there? Was Sarah there? Okay, next one is for Andrea Araceli. We got the tourists were from Panama. Andrea, where? Thanks, Stephanie. Go ahead. The tourists from Panama. Thank you. Okay. Next one is for, let me see, William, you can grade it in the chat. And the other one would be for Daniel. Daniel, go ahead, please. Was 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 it a nice dream? Was it a nice dream? Very good. William Figueroa, we're waiting for yours. And meanwhile, let me ask Ana Maria for number six. Were you on the yellow bus? Were you on the yellow bus? Thank you. Next one, Hector. Where were you busy last night? Were you busy last night? Okay, our next one is for Sergio. Okay. Uh, were you and Anthony invited invite to party to the party? Okay, so we say were Anthony and you invited to the party? Invited to the party. Thanks. Okay, that's that's good, William. We say was my dad so angry at me? Okay, next one is for, let me see who has participated, Mauricio. Was the answer incorrect? Was the answer incorrect? And the last one is for Luciano. Was shopping very embarrassed? Was Sophie very embarrassed? Thank you. All right, there we are. Okay, so we got like let's see, five minutes. 
in the remaining five minutes, what we're going to do is to go back to the breakout rooms and we're going to share a little bit of what we did in our last vacation, okay? So just share about the things you did in your last vacation. Um, is that clear? Repeat. Yes, I want yes, you to go please. to the breakout rooms and I want you to talk about your last vacation. What did you do? Where did you go? Who did you see? Just talk about your last vacation in general. All right? Okay, okay teacher. Okay, there you go. lo que vamos a hacer en vacaciones, ¿verdad? You talk about your sí, last nuestras vacaciones pasadas. Vacaciones pasadas. Exacto. Yes. Where did you go last vacation? Gladys. I was mm, visit mm, I was visit my family in Ilo Vasco. Okay. Let's go. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so what did you do? What did you do in your vacation, last vacation? In, in my last vacation, I was to the beach. I was go to the beach with my... I went? I, I was went to the beach with my family. And I just spent time a lot of with them. And I eat, I ate a lot of seafood because I like it. Okay. And you, Luciano, what did you, what did you go last week, last vacation? I, I did house uh, maintenance. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. Eh, Cameron, creo. Okay. And nothing I enjoy my last you vacation. Have, you have many money, my friend. <laughs> no, no. Your vacation was in. So, uh, 2019, and the movie is there. 2019, or 2020. Sí, you visited. No, in, in 2019. Uh-huh, 2019, right? In yes. the camera. Yes, and this year, Hi, everyone. I you be don't have a vacation. He, he stop the, the year. Uh, yeah, this, this year. We're going to learn how to do it with the part to be. In the in, it, very, very. Let me present the microphone. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice cuarentena? Cuarentena. 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 
in the quarantine is my vacation for this year. Yes. Yes, I may stay at home on the quarantine. And yes. I didn't have Okay, so that's all for today's class. Thanks for your attention. Take care and have a good night. Thank you. Have a good have night. A good Take night. care. Uh, good night, night. Good night. Bye. 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 No, tomorrow. We tomorrow we got a class. Remember about that, please. Tomorrow, tomorrow we have a class. See you tomorrow. Bye. Ah, okay. Be there tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay.